video, you'll see how to find the GCF and LCM using prime factors. So just like we did when we were finding all the prime factors, we want to divide by the smallest prime that goes into both 24 and 40. 2 goes into 24 12 times, and 2 will go into 40 20 times. Next, you want to see if there's any prime that will go into 12 and 20, and 2 will go into both. 2 goes into 12 6 times, and 2 goes into 20 10 times. Again, find a prime that goes into both, if possible. Again, we have 2. 2 goes into 6 3 times. 2 goes into 10 5 times. Now, to find the GCF, look at all the prime factors that went into both numbers. So 2 went into 24 and 40, 2 into 12 and 20, 2 into 6 and 10. So your GCF is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. To find the LCM, all you need to do is multiply all of the prime factors you found here. 2, 2, 2, 3, and 5. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 is 120. So the GCF of 24 and 40 is 8, and the LCM is 100. Okay, our last example, uh, we want to find the GCF and LCM of 12, 18, and 20. Again, what's the smallest prime that goes into the, these three numbers? That's 2. 2 goes into 12 6 times, into 18 9 times, and then 20 10 times. Now, is there another prime number that will go into 6, 9, and 10? No, there isn't. So the GCF is 2. Okay, now look 6, 9, and 10. What will go into uh, these numbers? No other prime will go into all three numbers, but a 2 will go into 6 three times, and a 2 will go into 10 five times. 2 does not go into 9, so we bring up the 9. Now looking at 3, 9, and 5, is there any number that will go into 3, 9, and 5? No, but 3 will go into 3 one time, 3 will go into 9 three times, and since 3 won't go into 5, we bring that up. To find the LCM, we multiply all of our prime numbers that we found here. So the LCM is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. And that is 180. And that's how you use your prime factors to find GCF and LCM.